second industrial dialogue was focusing on 3D printing in the biomedical sector. And we started out with first a presentation of um, current developments in the 3D printing field related to uh, the medical sector. It was actually quite nice to see that um, already the keynote was uh, already in containing a lot of elements and philosophies of RI, uh, which was an excellent starting point for this uh, industrial dialogue. We are dealing with new materials, we are dealing with cells, we are dealing with data which is being shipped around the world, so a lot of legal aspects are also behind it. And after these um, inter uh, introductions to the field and to RI, we kind of went into a working mode. Um, we had different um, breakout groups um, where we dealt with um, challenges and barriers and expectations with regard to RRI in the 3D printing field. We moved more to a more concrete area, asking the participants to come up with very concrete challenges and, and possible tools that can help to tackle these challenges. We had a choice of about uh, eight different um, uh, concrete tools, and then the participants had the chance to vote for their favorite tools. And uh, at the, the end result of this voting process was a selection of three uh, most favorite tools, and these uh, then were transferred into breakout groups again, uh, where the participants uh, um, had the task to become very, very concrete um, and, and kind of uh, deal with the details of these tools. How should they be designed? Uh, who are the potential users? Um, what are the functions that should be included? Things like that. I was um, contributing to these two days as a group moderator, so I was working in the um, breakout sessions and trying to keep people on track with their discussions. We were very lucky in our um, breakout session group that we really, we just had a few participants, but these participants that we had, they were from different fields. Um, we had researchers, we had industry, a civil society organization on board, and this was really valuable. Um, and we also had the practitioner, uh, a surgeon, um, who could also make very interesting contributions about what um, fits to his way of, of doing things and what doesn't fit that well. A person from coming from a, a, like a, from a designing uh, art or from a fab lab, he for example, uh, said the gender diversity is very, very important in the field of the 3D printing and uh, for other was uh, open access was very important. For other was the safety was very important. The take home message I take home is that still communi com communication is key. So communication is key um, for 3D printing as um, different stakeholders from different angles looked at the current challenges, the current um, situation we face in 3D printing and s even though this technology is existing for some years now, um, still there are questions unanswered. Responsibility in research and innovation starts with guidelines but it's then broken down into um, certain aspects and concrete uh, to-dos for companies, for industries. Um, starts with economical aspects, starts with uh, ethical aspects which are um, which have been brought on the table in that forum and that was pretty helpful and inspiring. I believe that having an RRI tool that would help uh, people understand exactly how to um, innovate, innovate in such a way that you have a, a less waste, innovate in such a way that you cut down on uh, the cost of innovation and also to um, have an idea about how to handle ecological based um, issues. The whole uh, stakeholders within this field somehow need to be brought in at various levels, yeah, including patients. Patients should have a right to know what, what, what kind of treatments they are receiving. Mm -hmm.